Interested in hosting a barbecue for the weekend? Or how about dyeing wool with a specific pigment? Or even designing a more efficient drug delivery system? You might be surprised to learn that these three examples are facilitated by this one process we call the Mueller reaction. To see how this works, let's take a closer look. First, a nitrogen-substituted glycosalamine is created when the carbonyl group of a sugar interacts with an amino group of a protein or amino acid. You won't see a color change in this step because neither an aromatic ring nor a large conjugated system is formed. The product binds well with drugs like curcumin and coenzyme 10, and the ultimate product displays an increase in viscosity, so the drug releasing process can, could be controlled. Next. A ketocymine is produced when the glycosalamine compound formed prior isomerizes through the amidory rearrangement. The amidory product then undergoes fission, dehydration, and degradation. Color change occurs with aromatic ring production. Then, the resulting product at this stage demonstrates antimicrobial diaffinity and aromatic properties. Finally, an enormous mysterious group of polymer called melanodins arise. It's hard to identify individual products due to their complexity, but the complexity makes them even more intriguing. 